and you were one of the panel speakers talking about how you've been able to lean in to Google My Business. Yes. Welcome to this week's episode of Hey Homegirl. Hey Homegirls, this week we are in the Lone Star State of Texas, visiting with Miss Tammy Price of San Antonio. Tammy has built an amazing career over the last 16 years in our industry. Today's episode, we are going to talk about what it was like to transition from her military background into her role as a real estate agent. We're going to talk about her different pillars of business. And what I'm most excited about is her new Google My Business that she's going to share with all of you. Tammy has built an unbelievable stream of income through her Google My Business page, and she's been nice enough to share some of her secrets with our amazing viewers. So let's dig in. Hey, homegirls. This week we hey. are in San Antonio, Texas with the one and only Miss Tammy Price. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. You have just the best energy about you. So thank you so much about coming on board and doing this with us today. Thanks for having me. So you have a very interesting story, your military background. Tell us about how you transitioned from there to get into real estate. So yeah, I'm an Air Force Brad. I was born on an Air Force base. I graduated on an Air Force base and served myself as a single mom. I put myself through both my bachelor's and master's programs. And funny story is, is when I didn't like the government position that I took, came back to San Antonio thinking I would go back and get my license in counseling. And a friend of mine who was a new home sales rep, when I told him, yeah, I'm going to go back and get my license, he said, you'd be fantastic in real estate. So that's how I ended up in real estate. <laughs> Awesome. Making that transition, um, because my husband's in the military, so we're a military mm -hmm. family. Sometimes, you know, his job is very regimented. Sometimes it's hard for him to give me a little bit of grace with my job because it's all over the place sometimes, you know. How did you help make those adjustments as a newer agent? What recommendations can you give to some of our listeners that might be newer agents as they get into the industry, how they can make the shift from a regimented career into something where they need to be a little more flexible? Ooh. Ooh, so I think for me, having that old school military father, I think was a benefit in having that regiment because... You know, I got into real estate in 2007. We all know what happened shortly after that, right? Yes, Everyone do. around me was telling me, don't do this. Don't do that. Oh, no, 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 no. But always hearing my dad in the back of my head saying, hey, Michelle, calls me Michelle. You need to get to work, right? So I think having that regimen about me, putting on my, put your boots on and go to work, right? I did all the things that people said, hey, no, just, just sit back. Don't do this. Don't do that. I just kept myself engaged in activity and survive that time period where a lot of those folks were out of the industry within my first year or two. Yeah. So during those tough years, what were some of the mindset things that you had to work on to get through it? I didn't have the benefit of knowing what an up market was, right? Okay. All I knew was this is the market. I want to be able to feed my kids as a single mom who left a really nice paying government position to do this. I got to work. So, and I made it a family thing. I look at people coming into real estate right now and I think they have it so easy because it's digital, right? I had MySpace. Who was advertising on MySpace? Not me. Nobody. We, <laughs> we walked neighborhoods. I'm like, if you want to be able to go to Saltgrass, if you want to be able to go to the movies every weekend and do the things that we were accustomed to doing when I was making 67, 60 to 70,000 a year, you got to help me stuff door hanger bags. You got to help me walk neighborhoods. I mean, we picked two communities that we walked at least once a month and delivered what I called items of value, right? Now yeah. you go online and you can get an instant value. But back then I created CMA coupons for people to fill out and send back to me. <laughs> I love that. Genius. The market was different then. Our business was different then. My, my kids all grew up in real estate. I, just like you, I've got several of them and they were always with me. Mm -hmm. And I look at them now as grown adults. And I think to myself, I did such a great job like that. I can pat myself on the back with because they all have great worth ethics. Yes, absolutely. I am. Um, I take my youngest still I take her with me sometimes on the weekends. And I was showing houses this weekend and my clients were like, they 
they looked sad. And I'm like, what's wrong? They said, where's Peyton? She's not with me today. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> yeah, you get all of me today. So. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I found through my years of running my brokerage, that was one of the things that I was able to attract was women that really wanted to build a career, but they wanted to be great moms too. And real estate Absolutely. allows us that. 100%. Mm -hmm. I love it because the conversations are different. My daughter will hear us because her dad's in real estate as well. My daughter will hear us talking on the phone and she was like, well, what about their option period? And I'm like, well, we're past that point. Well, did they make sure they got their earnest money in on time? She'll be running you, something soon. Do you find that your children are able to have really good conversations with other adults because of the way they've seen you interact with your clients and the way you've put them in front of other adults? I think they are for sure. And with my youngest, she's high functioning autistic. So in certain social situations, she'll clam up. But I yeah. tell people, enjoy it. J just enjoy it because the moment she opens up, it's chat. Yeah. She'll have conversations about the smells in the home. Well, yeah. I don't know, but did you see this wood rot on the back of the house? Because my mom says that you need to pay attention to the wood rot, yeah. right? And she'll talk their ears off. Don't take her to a closing because she'll also talk the ears off of a lender. <laughs> the attorneys and the lenders, that's awesome. Oh, that's so good. So I know one of the things that has really impressed me about your business, I saw you at an event in Boston, well, just mm -hmm. outside of Boston a couple of months ago, and you were one of the panel speakers talking about how you've been able to lean in to Google My Business. Yes. Yeah. And going back 2007, we didn't have all the technology that we have right now. And so for some of us, I think it's a challenge because every other month or two, there's some new technology that we can buy into. There's some mm -hmm. subscription, there's some new New pretty shiny object, but Google has offered us a really great avenue to build that business without having to pay high prices. 100% free. Yes. It is a free tool that people can use in their businesses to grow their online visibility and credibility and have an organic lead generating machine. And I love it. When did you make the decision to tap into that? So I went to an event in October of 2021. And the one thing that really stood out to me was this idea of Google my business, right? You know how it is. You go to these events, people talk like up here yes, and you're thinking, I need you to bring it down here. So I left that, that conference thinking, I want to learn more about this because I had one, but it just sat there. I thought all I was supposed to do was create it. And that was it. So I came from that conference in October and the one thing that stuck out for me was you got to geotag some photos. So I said, I'm going to learn how to do that. So I started off with just geotagging photos. I did a listing a day all the way back to 2016 on every single listing I had. But then I'm like, there's got to be more to this, right? All the different sections. So over time, I taught myself how I Googled a lot and I listened to Jason and Jason Pantana would say something. And I'm like, well, I wonder what he means by that. And today's just been a huge blessing in my business. So over the course of the last 12 months, I know you do a really impressive book of business, but how much of your business do you think comes from your Google My Business page? So let's year to date, I have closed 19 transactions for just a little bit over 5.6 million. And mm -hmm. since February of 2022, which is when I got my first closing off of Google, I've closed $11.1 million and 32 transactions total. Free, Google, organic. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it took your time. You had to put that sweat equity in just like if somebody's going to flip yep. a house. Exactly. But you didn't have to pay for all those leads. Nope, nope, nope. You just got to be consistent. Yeah. Once you figure out what to do with each section and how how to optimize it. It's consistency, right? All that it is. And let's face it, I'm not huge on camera. Like I can do this. Boy, put me in front of a video camera and tell me to start recording. I go blank. Yeah. So being able to do something without that fear of being recorded, well, like I'm all in on this. Yeah, <laughs> got this. <laughs> There's so many different ways in our business to be able to stimulate transactions. Yes. And so many agents get stuck in ruts. 
And so the fact that you were able to come out of a conference and take the initiative in your own business and do it for a way that wasn't going to cost you a subscription, you know, you go to Mm -hmm. Y-Logo, you go to Zillow, you go to KV Core, any of these things, they're thousands Mm -hmm. of dollars over the course of a year. And so you've taken this a step further and you've actually created a program for real estate agents to help them master this power, correct? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for listening to today's episode. We're not quite finished yet. But as the home girl of your hometown, I would love to pass the mic to you so that you can share your story and some of your secrets with the homegirl community. To apply, please go to howtobeahomegirl.com in the show notes. Tell us a little bit about that because I'm going to take your class. I'm excited. Yeah. So the thing was, I spent all this time learning each thing, right? I did masterminds from time to time. And what I found was just like me, the more I shared, the more people reached out wanting individualized help. I'm a single mom. I'm a single producing agent with one ad. And my, it was actually my coach who pushed me. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get around to it one day. You know, we all have limiting beliefs, right? Okay. This idea was so much bigger than myself. And I thought, well, I got stuck up here versus thinking about what can I do, right? How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. All right, let me write it. Then I went and then I wrote it like, okay, coach, here you go. I wrote it. He's like, great. Now find that form that you're going to deliver it on. Oh, you're not going to do that for me. So long story short, I think I just wanted to make my coach proud. So he gave me the assignment of finding the platform. And by the next week, I delivered him a full training built online and My whole goal of that was no one needs to be in the dark. If I can show you how to utilize this free resource to build your brand, your visibility and credibility and help others find you, I think that's a pretty good thing. And I don't, you know, a lot of people have asked me, well, why? Why secret sauce? Why? Why? There's enough business out there for everyone, right? I don't come from a scarcity mindset. People in my here that have taken the course and are doing the things, I'm proud of them. I hope Google turns out to be as good of a lead source for them as it has been for me. Times are changing, right? It's getting tougher. And I think that the more people have at their fingertips that they can learn and implement, the better work will all be as time goes on. And as an industry. 100%. And my mindset has always been for the people that really want to work and provide amazing customer service, mm-hmm. there's enough room at the top for everyone. Yes, absolutely. And the reality is, is even if four other people in your brokerage all in the same town take your class, no one, you're not duplicatable. Nobody else. Nope. It's going to be Cammy Price. No, and that's it, right? We're all going to do something different. One of my favorite, one of my favorite colleagues who we share an office wall. She's in a different office than me. I'm like, she's catching up to me. But I'm like, you know what? Good for you. I'm like, hey, Julie, you need to do this different on your next one, right? Because I don't look at, I don't look at her as competition. Yeah. I'm cheering her on, you know. And a hundred people can take the course. It's those that are going to really commit and implement that I should be scared of, but I'm not. They are them and I am me, right? Yeah. And the more you're elevating the people around you, the higher elevation you're going to get to also. A rising tide lifts all ships. That's true. Yeah. Yes. About how much time on a weekly basis do you spend on your Google My Business? So I am the queen of scheduling. I can schedule, well, because I've learned how to create my content, beautiful AI, chat GPT, right? Yep. I added a, a training course on that. I was like, let me give them a little something extra. So I can spend about 30 minutes, let's say an hour. Let's say I spend an hour a week. I create the content. I schedule it on a platform and I'm good. An hour every two weeks because I schedule out about two weeks in advance. And then that way, all I have to do is if I'm out and about and I want to do something from my, from my Google maps, I can do it there. You know, the just solds or under contract or you're behind the scenes, those I can just do a little more naturally because I have something scheduled 
to go out almost every day, at least a minimum of eight times during the week and four to times on the weekend. Very, very nice. So not a huge time investment. It beats having to make a hundred cold calls every week. Yes, it does. <laughs> and what I find, you know, if, if I on social media, what I do on Google people would unfollow me left and right, right? Because I tell people, yes. get super spammy about buying, selling, investing, home sellers, home buyers, best agent, write about yourself in the third person because you and I, I mean, they're Google, you can Google them, right? But Tammy Price, best real estate agent, top agent, that will help you start ranking and, and being in those searches because your name is, is being used over and over. Over again. So I tell people just get spammy with it. Yeah. And our listeners have to remember you're in a big city. You're in San Antonio, Texas. You've got a lot of real estate agents there to compete with. So the fact that you can work oh on those gosh. rankings is amazing. Um, right. For our viewers that might be interested in your class, how do they access that? So I, my training, the Elite Agent Training Academy, and it's Google Business Profile training for real estate agents. And I mean, I share it all over socials and usually offer a discount on the training as well. All right. That sounds good. And are these live trainings or pre-recorded? They are pre-recorded. And what I did is I split it up into modules. The beauty of this particular platform that I chose, one, we've already learned I don't like to be on camera. So I pre-recorded certain modules and tutorials. So there's some text modules in there as well. The tutorials will give you a step-by-step -step how to, and then for those who learn better by reading, that would be followed by a text lesson that will have screenshots. You go here, next is here, and then we go here. Oh, so, so it's, it's perfect. It's not one continuous video. Me, I do a video training about 10 minutes into it. I see a hundred squirrels and I've got to rewind. So I purposely kept the video tutorials smaller and broke everything out into to different sections. Oh, that's awesome. And so for our viewers and our listeners, I'll put the link for that in the show notes and in the bio so that you have that. And I just am so thankful that I've gotten to meet you and that you're willing to give back. A little bit about Tammy's background is she's worked at a couple different brokerages over her extensive career. So you've done the traditional brokerages, you've done the big brokerages, and you've done the cloud-based offices. Mm -hmm. And you know, earlier in the month, we heard from Katie Day, who's also in Texas from you. And Everything that Real is doing and the way that you're sharing with your agents, it's so much like the Tom Ferry ecosystem where you just want to elevate everyone in our industry. So I thank you for that. 100%. And that's, you know, that's, what drew, that's what drew me to Real is this idea of being a culture of collaboration. And I, I do Real Academy once a month where I share with them how to utilize Google business profiles in their business. And it's been one of uh, what they tell me, one of the most well-attended classes in the academy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I cannot wait to see where your career is going to go these next couple of years because you've just become you. such a light in our industry. So thank oh, you. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to see where your next vacation is going to be because you love to travel just like I do. Yes. Costa Rica, amazing. Yes. Oh, I'm going to Breckenridge next. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's where we'll go for Christmas vacation. The little one wants to wants able to snowboard again. So we're going to Breckenridge, but um, I love to travel. And, you know, real estate has given me that ability to be able to not only provide for my family, I have two adult children who very much mama still provides for, but it also gives, you know, it also affords me the ability to do fun vacations. My, my, my youngest, we live in the wrong state. She wants to live in Hawaii. I can't afford Hawaii, but we can visit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. At the end of every episode, I ask the other amazing females that are our guests, what's one piece of empowering advice you can give to other female agents that are just getting into the industry or that need a little bit of motivation right now? Man, bet on yourself. There are going to be so many people that are going to tell you that this industry is hard and you should do something different, bet on yourself. I, I bet on myself 16 years ago and here I am today. I don't think that I ever thought that I would be here, right? But I'll tell you the last couple of years, just stepping out of my own way and 
being a part of that Tom Ferry ecosystem too, you learn that you can be this big personality and step into it and not be afraid of what others think. So bet on you. Oh, that's wonderful advice. Thank you so much for your time today, yeah. friend. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you for having me. All right, cool. 